there welcome back to gentle thrifty mama today I'm going to be filming another haul video uh, this is sort of the second or third haul video from my trip uh, to New York but um, and actually Rhode Island but I love shopping while I'm on vacation it I sort of give myself enough money that I can just shop unapologetically and no guilt, no nothing. I go on vacation to shop and Dave goes on vacation to eat. So we both just do our, our thing and uh, we don't worry about money or anything like that. So anyhow, I will show you what I got on my trip. So I will start with the uh, home goods. I got some, some things I got that I can't really show you because I bought them for my niece for her birthday. Um, and so they've already been gifted off to her. So uh, th that was one thing. And the next, I just got these two um, paper bags for gifts. And uh, I just thought they were so cute and they um, had great style. And you can sort of find these types of bags um, at the dollar store in Canada, uh, but they are just like flimsy material and the patterns are not that great. And uh, they're comparable in price to uh, the ones that I found at Home Goods. So I got this cute little smart one here with the blue, it just says for you. And then this one here, uh, more pinky, just a small one. So I thought those were cute, so I picked them up. Next, I will show you the stuff that I got from Madewell. I got two pair. I got actually three pairs of socks, but one of them is um, I've worn and already washed and sort of put away in my drawer. So I got these cute little socks here, and then these one here, and then I got another pair that sort of had a taller. Um, it was a taller sock. So anyhow, that's that. Okay, and then I also got this ring. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Uh, there it is. It's just sort of like a stacking ring. And uh, I really, really liked it because I liked to wear sometimes some gold jewelry. Uh, but I, my wedding band and my engagement ring are both uh, stainless steel. So I like that there was just one of the rings um, here is uh, sort of stainless steel in color. So. I really love this ring and uh, so I saw it and I decided to buy it so that's that and then next I stopped at um, Aesop and got this huge huge bar of soap it's the scent is bergamot ylang ylang and Tahitian lime and it smells so so good so fresh and um, just clean smelling. I really, really love the smell, so I picked that up. I was due for a new soap anyway, uh, so I decided I'd give this a try. Next is stuff from the Muji store. So, oh yeah, also from Aesop, they gave me uh, some samples. So I had been looking at the uh, geranium leaf body scrub, uh, but it was kind of expensive and I didn't have that much cash on me at the time. So. Uh, they gave me some samples instead. So they gave me three samples of the body, body scrub and then three samples of the body lotion. So I'm excited to uh, give those a try. Next, I went to the uh, Muji store and I got a few things. One of them being some, uh, which I can't show you because they've been eaten, but they had these little sort of um, animal crackers. Uh, they were little bears and the kids were very, very patient while we were shopping in the city. Um, so anyhow, they were very, very good. And uh, so I got them the little treat of the bear cookies. So they enjoyed that while we were shopping. The other stuff I got was this uh, diffuser or aroma pot it's called. It's porcelain and it's simple and uh, it's just sort of you put a little tea like tea light under there and then your uh, oils up there i used to work at a uh, spa and we used to always like part of my job was to keep the uh, aromatherapy uh, going throughout the day so um, i love the smell of that and i thought i really want to recreate that at home and so uh, candles are nice but i also really really love uh, this so i decided this was i can't remember how much nine dollars so i thought that was a good price and i just like it was nice and simple and so um yeah i'm gonna have to go out and get some tea light candles um so i have some i think but they i think they're scented so i'll just go out and buy some simple plain uh beeswax candles and uh, i will use that in this next i got this little contraption here it's a uh, scalp massager and um they had two different kinds, like a soft bristle one and a firm bristle one. So I got the firm one. 
and um, sometimes I I um, suffer from like dry scalp so I thought this would be great just to sort of keep the health of my scalp uh, going so I just like that it was nice and clean just like everything else at the Muji store uh, so I picked that up it was six dollars next I picked up these little hooks that will hang they're magnetic so I will hang them off um, the locker that's beside my desk just to sort of hang um, maybe some keys or anything that I need um, you know easily accessible that's hangable so I picked those up this was five dollars and fifty cents for these two uh, simple hooks and then lastly I got this uh, it's called a desk broom set but I will use this sort of near Miriam's high chair so if she has uh, any crumbs that fall to the floor that I don't really want to like lug out the vacuum cleaner for, um, I will use this. So I think I'll just sort of hang this off the back of her high chair. Uh, so this was $4.50 and I think it's going to be extremely useful for me. So that's that. And then I went to uh, Fish's Eddie in New York. I love that place. Um, I don't need any more dishes so it was very hard for me to go in and sort of bypass all the, the dishes and stuff. Uh, I usually would just sort of go crazy and, and buy all these dishes that I didn't really need just because they look good. But I, I held back and I just got two things um, and they are little cookie cutters. So I got a uh, J uh, for Jude and an M for Miriam and so we can make some cookies sometime uh, and use these and I thought that would be fun. They were I think like $1.25 each or something like that so I got that from Fish's Eddie. And then lastly, I will show you stuff that I got. Oh no, we also went to Uniqlo. So um, I got a shirt for Miriam, which I don't have with me. I think it's in the wash. And then I got myself a jacket. And I have been looking for, or I have needed a classic looking rain jacket for quite some time, but I never sort of made it a priority to go out and find one. I just sort of um, used an umbrella or like put an old hoodie on, that sort of thing. So, but nothing very practical. So I went uh, on this trip deciding that I really wanted to find a great, especially because it was raining, uh, a great looking uh, rain jacket that would be classic in style, that would last me, you know, forever if, um, if I wanted it to. So here is the jacket I got. It's this awesome sort of, um, I guess it's sort of military in style, which um, I kind of like. I don't know why, um, but I like the style. I love this color green. Green is one of my favorite colors. And so it, had a, it has a nice big hood on it. And um, I'll try it on. You won't be able to fully see it, but. Here it is here and it does right up to here so it keeps me warm also has an awesome hood and I it's very practical because it was uh, raining in New York for a little bit of the time we were there and so uh, this kept me nice and dry and I'm just very thrilled that I bought this jacket uh, it sounds kind of crazy but I've really been in the market uh, for one in a rain jacket for a long time so to finally have one feels really good so Anyhow, it has two big pockets down here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll stand up. So it fits me really well. Two huge pockets. And uh, it cinches here so I can sort of tighten it if I want. Tie it like that. So there you go. Anyhow, I really, really love it. And uh, yeah, so that's my rain jacket. And then when we were in, so I got that in New York at Uniqlo. But then when we were in Rhode Island, uh, it was raining and we had wanted to go to the zoo. Uh, but the kids didn't have appropriate rain gear, so I went to Target and found some rain jackets for them. So I got Miriam this little rain jacket here, so sweet. Uh, it's size 18 months, so it'll fit her for a long, long time. And uh, it just looks really cute on her. And uh, it's very practical and uh, it's nice and light though. So I really like that. And then next is uh, Jude's rain jacket, and he actually picked this out himself, which was kind of fun. I took him to the rain jacket section, and uh, there were a number of different choices, but he chose this one. So he chose this yellow, bright, bright yellow, um, which is great because he's sort of a, a runner, so I can always keep an eye on him uh, and see him, like in the park or anything like that. So, and then it's just lined with this um, blue and white uh, stripe 
uh, just like cotton type material on the inside. So it looks really great on him, fits him really well, and uh, I just really love it. So anyhow, that is my big haul from everything that I got while I was away on vacation. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed but you want to see more videos from me, you might as well subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Bye!